Let's get into it. Now, I went to the World Economic Forum website and they have a report of all of the future jobs and jobs that are going out the window. Number one on our list is our AI, artificial intelligence, and ML machine learning specialists. Now, if you are looking for the type of job where you can actually help train the system, you are learning the algorithms, how it works, how to make it efficient, more ethical, then this may be a job for you. Now, keep in mind, you may not see jobs with this exact title, so it's important to look for the skills while you're searching. Now, if you consider yourself to be the type of person that likes designing the little intricate details for the machine to learn and improve on, you're gonna help be a part of a team that is developing and training systems that we use every day, whether it's for healthcare or for social media, and you wanna make that difference, or maybe you just want a high paying job, Jobs with this types of skills are paying anywhere between 81 and over $270,000. You might find some remote jobs and you might find some that's in office. Now, if you're thinking, hmm, okay, that's fine, but I'm not crazy about AI machine learning directly. How about something else? Next up on our list, if you really like looking at the data, and numbers, graphs, and charts. And when you see certain figures, you're able to pull out a story and a narrative that's compelling and drives decision-making, then you might want to be a business intelligence analyst. You really like the complexity, but it doesn't scare you away. You're curious, you like looking at reports and dashboards, and you're just captivated by all the information that you can possibly make out of this. Salary for a BI analyst is $56,000 to over $100,000. If you wanna skill up into this and you're already taking courses in school or you're self-learning, then make sure you're taking courses in SQL data visualization, dashboard or reporting, and your learning tools such as Tableau and Power BI. It's also hybrid, some remote, some office. In this job, your task is to be the guardian of the galaxy. Well, not quite the galaxy, but maybe just our social media and the internet and our networks, because you're gonna be tasked with protecting all of our information from threats, and you're going to learn all of the defenses and stay on top of testing and monitoring in various ethical hacking techniques so that you're keeping our data safe at all times. With a salary range from 56,000 to over 115,000, those people who decide to go into this role can enjoy more remote flexibility as a lot of these jobs offer remote and work from home options. Most people don't actually need a degree for this role. So this is a great entry level, meaning you have some experience, you're putting up projects, you're networking with people, and maybe you've been looking for certifications that are security related. And now you can start to branch into industries that are looking for information security analyst. Next up on our list is a FinTech engineer. That is a financial technical engineer. Now, since it's financial, we're dealing with numbers here. So if you're a numbers person, into math, you're into economics, you're into finance, and tech, maybe you're curious, put it all together and this could be you. Finance technical engineers are considered the pioneers of building and revolutionizing the financial services through software and technologies like blockchain, AI, and data analytics. You see, we have an adjacent skill there, and that's what's so great about tech analyst roles because there's so many similarities that you can pivot to one area. If you see there's a lot of competition in one role, you might find if you just look at a similar role, you might be able to get a job there. 
you're going to be combining your finance acumen with your technical knowledge to craft those innovative digital products to make solutions that will enhance areas like our online payments, lending, investing, and we all know we should be doing a little bit more investing today, right? Now for FinTech, the average salary range is 85 to 130. You will need some finance knowledge, programming, some knowledge in distributed systems, blockchain, but that also means there's really no one degree that qualifies for all of that. All you have to do is fill in the gaps in those adjacent knowledge and skills, and there you have it. So remember to use the skills when you're searching for these roles. Next up on this list may be a surprise to some of you, but that's a data analyst. You're probably wondering, but there's so much competition for data analysts. How could this still be considered an in-demand role? That's because their role is evolving. So any type of basic data entry, non-complex, writing basic reports, that is getting done and over with and replaced by AI. So if you are preparing for this title or looking for this title, you need to step up your game and level up your skills to be more complex because those are the type of data analysts that are in demand. Remember, data analysts are considered the detectives who are looking and sifting through all of the big data that is being collected and helping the businesses make more efficient and smart decisions with that information. So you're still going to need to know your programming languages like Python, data visualization, and if you want to step it up a notch, machine learning. That is how you're going to future-proof yourself. The salary for this role is $49,000 to $92,000. It is a great and common entry-level stepping stone, but keep in mind there's a lot of competition since there tends to be a lot of people coming from other industries that are preparing for this role. So it's even more important that if you figure out how to find hidden local market near you, and I'm going to show you later how you're going to do that using Gemini, Claude AI, or ChatGPT, even LinkedIn, to kind of hone in and find that local area or companies and industries with low competition. Now, this video is not sponsored. So if you're finding any kind of value, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, a like, and share with other people who are having a hard time. You're going to open up your LinkedIn app. What you're going to do is add quotation marks in the front and at the end. So for example, with our AI specialist, you're going to type in quotation marks, AI specialist, quotation mark. Then you're going to hit enter. Now look at your results. You're going to see job postings with that exact precise title. Go back to your home, click on the home tab. Now at the top in your search bar, we're going to add at the beginning quotation mark, I'm hiring quotation mark, the word and in capital letters, A and D, then your job title in quotation marks and hit enter. Now look at this. You found a recruiter that is expecting and anticipating job hunters to reach out to them. You have now essentially drastically reduced your chances of a ghost job. I've been researching and developing prompts to help people find these hidden jobs to make it easier. So stay with me. Let's get into it. Open up your prompt. And I'm going to tell you the prompt you're going to enter right now. What I realized, depending on the chat box, you might get slightly different results. Enter this prompt. Give me a list of local job boards that serve the New York, New Jersey job market. Job postings for small, medium, startup, nonprofit, government, fintech, edtech, govtech, public sector, transportation, utility, and other companies not listed on large job boards like LinkedIn. Now enter and look at the results. Let me know if you see jobs 
in companies and industries and websites that you've never heard of before. Because imagine if this is the first time you're hearing about some of these companies, how many other people have not heard of these companies? So now that's going to save you time and your sanity. If you made it this far in a video, thank you. I hope you find value in this information and I hope you stick around as I continue with the rest of the top future jobs.